Okay, so this cover. Uh, do you guys have you guys ever heard of La Blue Girl? No, you can no, say but no. I'm interested. You're in, but you're aware of the concept of tentacle porn, right? <laughs> oh yes, yeah. yes. Okay. So the reason you're aware it. of tentacle porn is specifically because of this man, Toshio Maeda. He's the now, father of tentacle. Porn. He is genuinely the father of tentacle porn. I could see now, it. if you were buying anime back in the 90s, you couldn't get Fucking like bad. real stuff. You had to go to a flea market and buy some bootleg tapes off the back of some guy's van. And yeah. that guy would always go, hey, kid, you want to see something really cool? And you go, what? And he'd show you this bootleg copy of the Blue Girl, which was about ninjas fighting each other to the death with sex as uh, tentacle monsters tried to uh, have their way with all of them. So oh. I, I wanted to do a cover. A lot of these campaigns, they do like a sexy cover. And I was like, I kind of want to do like a cool, like Japanese manga, like hentai cover. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait, could I get Toshio Maeda? Could I get the godfather of tentacle porn? So I had to get a translator to send this guy an email <laughs> and go, hello, I am big America comic man. And I want <laughs> to put your horrible tentacle art on. <laughs> My disgusting, and he was like, "Yes, I will do this for you." Sir. <laughs> and uh, the only problem was the the language barrier. He like kept sending me sketches, and I'm like, "Listen, man, I kind of want this franchise to have legs. It's gonna be hard <laughs> if my main character is getting split apart by six penis tentacles. Like, you got to tone it Shio, down. Could, yeah. could you get the children to pipe down in the back. They're screaming so loud. <laughs> Shio, Shio, what? He's like, so you want the tentacles like ripping apart her clothes and jamming their way into her mouth? I'm like, no, like kind of suggestive." <laughs> Like, like suggesting. A oh, yeah, I understand. Effective. So you want her like violently brutalized. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand he, English. He sent me all the sketches of her getting stuffed from every side. And I'm like, no, like this. I want to get like a cartoon at some point. And I'm like, yeah, no, no, look. you totally preaching to choir, like more rape, <laughs> like more rape. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just want to keep this me, viable. You same wave rank. Dude, dude <laughs> I know you tried to tone it down, but I like see moisture on her vagina. And no, like, no, no. Like, that's all tentacle slime. That's tentacle. <laughs> slime that's not coming from her as as far as i can tell i mean the how would you know you didn't draw it shut up we're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> someday so, i'm gonna be pitching this as an anime your interpretation netflix. is no better than mine you don't draw this shit. <laughs> i'm gonna be talking to netflix executives and they go i'd like you to address this uh, uh this episode of pka where clearly there are wet juices running down the leg point is uh there is a tentacle cover showing you know what they say you know it when you see it <laughs> <laughs> yep this is an exclusive. Yeah. How, how many can... uh, how many <laughs> uh, revisions were required? There were a lot of revisions, and this is the best <laughs> I could get without. He was like, "Listen, man, I got to do something to her." And I'm like, "All right, fine. This is, this is good enough." <laughs> I, don't I don't understand why you're being so hard. You're the one who reached out to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're the fucking weirdo here. Honestly, honestly, I was just sitting around <laughs> masturbating for the last twenty years until you bother me. As we do make. As we do make funny uh, cover, and then you say, "Oh, this too gross." Are you familiar with my work? It, it vile, it revolting, it upset people. People vomit at my work. I think we came to a fair compromise. Let's yeah, just yeah. say that. Like, you that. know what? I'm seeing a little romance when I look at her eyes and his mouth. She's afraid. Yeah, and her, kinda... She's been disarmed. She's <laughs> oh, she's she's... Look, her gun is flying through the air because it has grabbed her wrist. And arms. It is, it is yes. clearly if, raping her. If that's not the look of consent, then I've just never had consent. <laughs> There's a big, like, like, like stabby thing coming for. Her. She's like at knife point, essentially. And as she's far not as at knife point. That's just what girls she's look a, like. She's clearly about to re grab her gun and fight off the aliens. She is a proud, strong female character. But no, no, she of fell. It's not. catching her. She fell. Exactly. It's helpful. He's saying, no, madam. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the eyes Lois Lane made when she was caught. That by skirt Superman. at no point would have been appropriate. Like, like, like it is incapable <laughs> yeah, of covering I her know. vagina. <laughs> Wait, that's it not just the, a belt. <laughs> it's <laughs> that's supposed to be a skirt. It is. It is a make believe skirt. Trying to, um, trying to zoom. This in guy's lane. impressive. He's the best left hand only artist on earth. This he's he is the he is the master. Honestly, when I went to approach him, I I, I did some research. He had just done a collaboration with Supreme. Uh, you know, that oh, brand that sells all that. And I'm like, he's like, how much Supreme. money you got, white boy? And I'm like, well, I don't have Supreme money. I'm like, I can pay you something. But uh, yeah. I think we worked out. A I made something deal. for Balenciaga. They said it's not extreme enough. <laughs> <laughs> they, said, they said there aren't nearly enough underage people getting messed with in this image. 
She's of age. She's of age. No underage rape. I promise you. No. I, now that uh, I'll buy. True. And we also have a cool collector's edition, which does not include the ra the rape cut. Yeah, we're doing a lunchbox, baby. I, I, I do kind of. I don't own any, but I have considered. Like, if I was going to get one of those weird fucking collector's hobbies where you just waste a bunch of money on nonsense, it'd be those old timey metal lunchboxes for real. Dude, they're Pretty awesome. Uh, they're they are hard to get, especially in good condition. Mm. Actually, I liked the plastic ones that Thermos used to make because that was like my era, like kind of the. 80s That's what I had. I remember yeah. the smell. They stopped making them though. I think that plastic actually is like toxic in some way. Oh shit! Is that, that what's like, wrong with me? Because I wanted to get like plastic lunch, but you can't get the plastic ones anymore. You can only get like tin ones now. It's weird. I had a Scooby Doo and a, uh, a He Man. I had a uh, Mario one, but it was really stupid because it was Mario watching Zelda on TV. And I was like, why not? And I was I remember being like, I just want a Zelda lunchbox. I don't want Mario playing Zelda. Yeah. Uh, so that was stupid. Look. So Zelda exists as a character in, in the, the Mario movie. universe that he wants. It's like a Tarantino like, thing. And Mario and Luigi weren't holding controllers and playing Zelda. They had a TV remote. Like they were oh. watching a Zelda television show, which was even worse. Uh, I'd watch so yeah, that always made me upset. But... Did you ever watch uh, the OG OG Mario Brothers TV show? It was, it was awful. Taylor, is that image? I remember like, your, no, the original box. one was there. Yes. <laughs> it was real weird. It felt that... like cable, uh, like access. Huh. Last thing I was going to mention, you do yeah. get Pogs with the uh, Collector's <laughs> Edition, because, guys, Pogs are coming back. Let's be real. They never Is left. The, Come on. They <laughs> never left. Dude, that was my... I, that's the exact version of the lunchbacks I had from kindergarten, and I felt like hot shit walking in. I remember feeling like hot <laughs> shit. Like, this is... Like, I rule. Nobody else has backpack? a fish. What the fuck is that? No, it's a lunchbox. I see that it's like a little. It does. It vibes backpack. I'm with Kyle. Like, if it was on your back, like looking behind you, it'd be real cute. Is all I'm saying. Like I just see a little little fucker running around the lunchroom with that. That's pretty cool. Mine was. I, I had the plastic ones, and oh, then I had cool. like a an igloo or something that I don't know. It looked funny, and I felt weird taking it to school. So then I just toughed it out and started eating school lunch because I didn't want to be one of the lunchbox kids because <laughs> there was a social divide. Like there was a time at some point it became system. not cool to to tote a lunchbox around all day. Uh, and so you just had to you had to lean right and start eating lunch food. <laughs> I, I went through the same thing. Yeah, I got to start putting uh, ranch on your pizza like the cool kids. I remember, yeah, having to. Uh, yep, that's the one I had. Or the rape. Blue. Look, I mean, I guess is that in the, but he's holding it vertical like a TV remote. Yeah, whoever drew that didn't know how yeah. controllers <laughs> yeah. worked. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's what happened. One hundred percent. They didn't know how controllers worked. And, so, and it's so confusing that it's a Super Mario Brothers 2 lunchbox, but they're watching Zelda 2. So there's two different logos. And then there's a Nintendo Power logo as well. This is a mess of a design. That's the a artist was TV completely confused. Day. He specialized in tentacle porn, and someone came to him out of the blue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luigi's hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see like the cords even coming out of like the right side of the controller. It doesn't make any sense. Should um, we have Mario and Luigi doing something cool? No, they should be sitting on a couch. Yeah, and they should popcorn. be watching another hero lose a yeah. fight. Yeah, well, that's the other thing is that the Zelda part of it is like kind of cool. It's like Link fighting a knight. I'm like, just make that the whole thing. That would be it way looks better. Like Dragon's Lair. They're just uh, trying to throw as much IP you know in there. That, that game? It's like oh, Robin Hood or something. I don't know. The Laserdisc game, Dragon's Lair? Uh, I don't know. The, the bad guy looks like me. uh, also Metroid or whatever. The legs. That looks silly. Oh, Mega Man. That's what his legs look like, right? Yeah, oh, Mega Man. Bit, yeah, I never you're played Mega Man ever. You ever played any Mega Man? What? No, no, never got. Was that a fun game? Was that worthwhile? I have all, a whole Mega Man shelf up there. Yeah, Mega Man's—they're all great. <laughs>